Welcome to our view dashboard. In this video, I'll walk you through the key features that make navigation fast, easy, and intuitive. And if you'd like to try this project yourself, you can find it on GitHub at Starcode Kshash View Dashboard. You can open it, fork it, or clone it directly using the command. When you click on Starcode KH View Dashboard on GitHub, it will take you straight to the project page. From there, you can explore the code, fork the repository, or clone it to your own machine. Now open your terminal, navigate into the project folder, can clone the project with this command. It will download the entire view dashboard project from GitHub onto your computer. This will launch the project in VS Code and you'll be ready to start exploring the files. Inside VS Code, you'll see the project structure of our view dashboard. Now let's open a new terminal inside Visual Studio Code and following commands to set everything up, npm install, this will download and install all the dependencies listed in the package JSON file. Now that the dependencies are installed, start the development server by typing npm run dev. This command will launch Vite and in just a moment, you'll see a local server link, usually something like HTTP localhost by Niman73. Open that link in your browser and you'll see the view dashboard running live. Nice after running the project, you can guide viewers through the UI. This is your main control center. Here, you'll find a quick summary of key statistics, including users, sales, revenue, and tasks. It's the very first place you land after logging in, giving you an instant overview of what's happening. On the left side, we also have a drop-down menu. This section is designed to help you organize and manage your files or resources easily. Under Recent, you can quickly access the files you worked on most recently. And under Shared, you'll find files and data that either you shared with others or that were shared with you. The Recent section lets you quickly reopen your latest files, while Shared shows everything you've exchanged with others. In our project, we have two simple views, Recent.View and Shared View. The Recent component lists the files you worked on most recently while the shared component displays files that were shared with you along with the owner's name. Next, we have the authentication section. This is where you manage user sessions and account access. Under login, you can sign in with your existing account credentials. Under login, you can sign in using your existing account credentials. Just enter your email and password, then click the login button to access the dashboard. Under sign up, you can create a brand new account just fill in your details like name, email, and password, then click sign up to join the system. All of our page files like dashboard, recent, shared, login, sign up, and log out are stored inside the views folder. Clicking log out will automatically redirect the user back to the login page. Structure plus UI code for profile where users can manage their personal info, name, email, password, profile picture. This will give you a clean profile page UI with profile picture upload, editable name, email, password, save button, users listing page in Vue.js using only Vue 3 plus basic CSS, no backend. The security section helps you protect your account. You can manage your password, authentication, and configure permission controls for your account. It's designed to give you full control over your account's safety and privacy. The privacy policy explains how we handle your data. It covers what data is collected, how it is stored, and how we protect your information. It's important to review this section to understand your rights and how your personal information is managed. The settings section allows you to customize your experience. You can adjust system configurations, notification preferences, themes, and more. With this sidebar, navigating the dashboard becomes fast, intuitive, and user-friendly. The root index serves as the central map for our view dashboard. Each route corresponds to a specific page or section of the dashboard like profile, users, security, privacy policy, or settings. It allows us to navigate between pages seamlessly using View Router. For example, when a user clicks on the sidebar link 
for profile, the root index determines which component to load and display in the main view. This structure keeps the application organized, modular, and easy to maintain. The sidebar includes dashboard, recent, shared, authentication, profile, user, security, privacy policy, and settings, giving you quick access to stats, files, user management, account protection, data policies, and customization. Our sidebar gives you everything at a glance from dashboard insights and file access to user management, security, privacy, and settings, making navigation fast and effortless. And that's the full tour of the dashboard sidebar, everything you need right at your fingertips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.